Hey everyone, Reptile Sam here. Today we're going to talk about lighting and your reptiles. What kind of light, light do they need? Which reptiles need which kind of lighting? When is lighting not that important? And why do tubs and racks not have lights in them? Today we'll talk about all those and hopefully answer most of your questions as well as learn about some questions that I still have. So let's start today by talking about lighting with the snakes. So when I kept my corn snakes in aquariums, as well as um, like Herman in an aquarium, they had overhead lighting. And you may be wondering why this is when snakes are known to not need lights. Well, I did this for heat, as well as appearance. So if your snake does not have an under tank heat pad or an under tank heat mat or heat cables, um, they will need overhead heating, which is more commonly used with lizards. So you want a daylight bulb and a nighttime bulb if you don't use a heat mat. So for all my snakes, um, I started out with the dark bulbs at nighttime, and then when I bought the mini halogen lights from Zilla, they only sold red bulbs. And we'll get into red and black bulbs later, but that's why I used lights when I had them in aquariums. Now you can also use heat mats such as this one underneath your snake tanks as well, but you also want to make sure that you have it on a thermostat. And the thermostat will help to regulate that temperature. If you don't use a thermostat, it can get very hot and can hurt your snake. So the thermostat you will plug into your heat mat to make sure it stays at the appropriate temperature. So you do not need to necessarily have a heat mat and an overhead light, but I figured if my snakes would already be in glass enclosures that I could see anyway, I might as well use overhead heating just to make them even more visible. But in the tubs that I use in my vision rack system, I don't use lights because snakes don't necessarily need light to be happy, unlike other reptiles. Snakes can be perfectly happy and healthy in a dark rack system with just some natural light because my rack system is right next to a window. So they, they do get some natural light from the day anyway. And as long as they have heat and humidity and multiple places to hide, that's what makes a snake happy. Snakes aren't like people and need a lot of light and different variety. Snakes need stability and they need to have their basic needs met. So as long as they're safe and happy and comfortable, that's all they need. So if your snake is just in the middle of your bedroom or something in an aquarium and they get a lot of natural light from the windows in your house, you can just use an under tank heat mat on a thermostat. But I do find lights provide a lot of really pretty um, coloration for your snakes, so that it makes it nice to view them. So that's optional for you, so you don't have to necessarily use lighting for your snakes. Now let's move on to bearded dragons, like Bosk. Bearded dragons do require a lot of light. They have very um, high light requirements, and not just light, they also require UV light. So I use a double domed hood for Bosque, which I will show you guys in a minute. And that hood has one UVA bulb, which is also just a standard basking heat lamp that also contains uh, UV in it. But then I have a UVB bulb, which is specific and a little bit more expensive than your regular heat lamps. And UVB provides special UVB uh, chemicals for bearded dragons, and this is the chemicals that you get from being out in the sun too long, which can hurt humans, but is great for bearded dragons, and they actually are very unhealthy without it and can develop metabolic bone disease. So you need to make sure that your bearded dragon has UVB. Now, bearded dragons also need nighttime heat. Um, you want this so that they don't get too cold at night, and you can use a ceramic heat emitter in a dome above their tank so that they can get heat without any light coming out, or you can use a nighttime heat lamp. Nighttime heat lamps are usually black or dark blue or purple, and they provide some heat, but not as much heat as a, their basking bulb is. Usually with Bosque, I use about a 100 degree, sorry, 100 watt heat lamp for Bosque, and his nighttime bulb I think is right now is a 75 watt lamp. So I can go ahead and show you those right now so you can see what I'm talking about. So there's Bosk basking and enjoying her heat. And as you'll see right there, there are two light fixtures. 
the one that you see on your right is the UVB bulb. You see how it looks white? That provides light but no heat. That bulb is the actual heat lamp that Bosk has that makes Bosk's basking area over 100 degrees. Now we go to the other side of the tank, and this is Bosk's nighttime bulb. Bosk's nighttime bulb is currently a black light bulb. So there's little Eddie right there. And Edgar has a few different lights that he uses. This light right here is his nighttime heat lamp, which is not on right now. And for Edgar, I use a red nighttime heat bulb. And his heat lamp right now is a 75 degree bulb because it's winter, but in the warmer months, I change it out for a 60 degree bulb. Edgar, I notice, is uncomfortable or gets too cold in the, in the winter because I'll notice him just basking right on top of his log all night in the winter under a 60 degree bulb. But when I use the 75 degree bulb at night, he has a more, um, he explores more, it doesn't seem like he has to be basking underneath that heat. So and the reason I use red for Edgar is because he's a nocturnal animal. And nocturnal animals, they're used to being able to see at night. And the black lights or the dark blue or purple lights uh, resemble more of like the moon, or like the light that um, the moon would give off. However, the red lights, um, animals like Edgar don't really see the color red very well. So he notices that it's brighter in his tank, um, but doesn't really see the color. And so I like that for Edgar because as a nocturnal animal, he, it stimulates his nighttime activity. And if I come in here in the middle of the night or anything, I see Edgar just walking around back and forth, having a good time, relaxing, enjoying his heat. And so for his daytime, I use, again, either a 60 or 75 watt bulb. Right now I have a 60 in here because he seems to be doing okay with it. And I use a blue light bulb for Edgar's daytime. And the blue light bulb stimulates the sun during the day for him. And so he's hanging out right here. He's probably been, I probably woke him up. But Edgar, being nocturnal, sleeps, sleeps all day. So like I said, different reptiles have different lighting requirements. Some of them, you can choose what you like better. Whatever your favorite option is, go with it. And if a certain animal, like, like bearded dragons, they need certain light requirements. So, you know, just uh, experiment around, see what you like the best. If you have questions, please re reach out to me. And if I don't know the answer, I'll try to find some good resources to help. And so this is Herman, my boa constrictor. He's been doing very well in his rack system with very little light. He has plenty of hide boxes, a big water tub to sit in. And he's been doing great. So remember to like and subscribe and keep your eyes peeled for later this week when I get a shipment of frozen feeders in from Lane Laboratories. And I already have a review up about frozen feeders from them, but this will be an unboxing video. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And until next time, this is Herman. I'm Reptile Sam, and I'll see you guys later.